This exercise aims to uh, contract uh, transverse abdominus, the lowest of your stomach muscles, um, in a standing position. So if we get ourselves in a standing position like so, our feet facing forwards, um, our knees nice and soft, our feet solid on the floor, try and keep a bit of a gap between your feet so your feet aren't really close together and you're not out of balance. Also make sure that your pelvis and lumbar spine is in a nice neutral position, so not um, extended too far and not flexed too far, so you're not standing like so or like so. Try and think about getting a nice comfortable position for your back. And then we're going to bring our fingers into this position and find the bony bit at the front of our pelvis. If we come an inch in and an inch down, we're going to keep a constant pressure through our fingers to um, try and give us feedback about whether we're contracting or not contracting. We're going to try and aim to pull on our pelvic floor muscles, which are the muscles that you use to stop yourself going to the toilet. So what we should find is we should be contracting low down here, and you should find that it goes um, firm underneath your fingers. Another good guideline for this is a, a, a great way to try and see if you're contracting um, is to do this in front of a mirror so you can actually see what happens to your belly button. So I'm just going to lift my top up so you can see. What we're aiming to do, if you're standing in front of the, um, the mirror, is that if my stomach is relaxed and my transverse abdominus is relaxed, then that's my belly popping out. You can see that it's all relaxed. There's nothing holding it in. If I contract my core stability, then what should happen is my stomach and belly button should come in slightly. So my stomach now looks a little bit flatter. So not this position, that's relaxed, and then I'm pulling on my core stability there. And I can feel a contraction going low down into this region here. If I contract too far, then what happens is my belly button comes in and upwards. Hopefully you can see that on the video. So let's just go through that again. There's my stomach nice and relaxed. There's me pulling on my lower core stability, which is a good contraction. If you start finding that your belly button comes in and upwards, then that's a bad contraction. So when you're standing in front of the mirror, aim to see your belly button come inwards, but not inwards and upwards. Like so, that's contracting it too far and you can cause yourself problems. The information in this video is general in nature and non-injury or patient specific. If you do require any more information, please consult your local therapist. I hope this video has been informative and helpful.